In this video, I will show you how to optimize the size of your container images with just two simple techniques. We will see on terminal how we can turn an image which is large 1 GB into just 8 MB. I will also show how to use Dive, which is a wonderful tool to analyze and optimize the layers in your container image. Let's start! One of the major advantages of using containers over VMs is that they are portable. But are your containers portable if they are the size of a whale? I don't think so. Docker images are like layer cakes. The base layer is defined from the from instruction. Any other instruction adds a layer on top of the base, with the exception of the CMD instruction that just defines how to launch our container process. To keep our image size in check, we need to reduce the number and size of our layers. But how do we do that? We can use a multi-stage build. We can leverage linear base images, getting rid of all the fluff we don't need. And we can optimize and merge any additional layer. As usual, I will show you how to do this on the terminal. However, let me explain first the multi-stage build. In a multi-stage build, we get to define multiple from statements. Each from statement is creating a new stage, which is a bit like having the ability of defining multiple cakes in one Docker file. Define an image is actually defined by the last from statement in the Docker file. The cool bit is that we can cherry pick any file or artifact from previous stages and include it in our last cake. This way we can use a fully loaded image to perform the compilation and build phase. And then we can select a much leaner image for our runtime. Now time to code. Let's go on the terminal. I created a repository on GitHub for this tutorial. you find the link in the description. After cloning it, we navigate to the sample-1-golang folder. It should contain four Docker files and one file named sample.go. This is just a basic web application written in Golang that returns I wanna be slim on port 8090. Let's compare the original and Debian Docker files now. The dockerfile.original has just one stage and uses Golang as the base image. The other Docker file defined two stages. The first stage is named Builder, using the as instruction. The second stage defines Debian Slim as the base image and then copies the sample executable from the Builder stage using the from argument. I will quickly build both images so we can compare their sizes. We name them sample original and sample Debian. Let me fast forward a bit. Now that the images are ready, let's check their size. Wow! There is a huge difference. The sample dash original is one gigabyte, while the sample dash Debian is just 86 megabytes. However, I had promised you that we're going to get that image size to 8 megabytes. In the next step, all we're going to do is just swap the base layer in the second stage of the build. I'm going to use Alpine, which is a secure and very lightweight Linux distribution. I will also introduce the concept of distroless image. A distroless image contains just the necessary to run your application. It has no package manager or not shell like any typical Linux distribution. Let's jump back on the terminal. Let's have a quick look at the Alpine Docker file and the distroless one. As you can see, the only thing that changes is the from statement in the second stage. Let me build them and we check their size. Woo! Yeah. As promised, yeah. we went down to 8 megabytes. That is less than 1% of yeah. the original 1 gigabyte image. Let's check if it is functional. I will launch it in detach mode, exposing port 8090. We care. And as you can see, it works as expected. Now I'm going to show that since this is distroless, we have no shell or anything of the sort. 
that is no SH, no bash, nothing you would usually find in a typical distro. The last tool I will show you today is a tool named Dive. With this tool you can analyze and optimize the layers in your images. Let's start. So, we navigate to the sample-3-layers folder. We should find two docker files. The original docker file is defining four instructions, thus creating four layers. All it's doing is downloading kubectl and putting it in the bin folder. The optimized version is compressing those four layers into two. I'm also using the no cache flag with APK to shave off few extra megabytes. I will now build the images and we compare their size. Wow. As you can see, there is a huge difference. But how did that happen? Let's analyze our layers with dive. The original image has four layers as expected. We can notice how the last two layers have identical size. Downloading and moving kubectl to the bin folder is costing us 48 megabytes two times. If we look at the optimized image now, we can see how merging those two layers is much more efficient. We have only two layers with the second one measuring just 57 megabytes. And this is the end of the video. We learn how to use multi-stage builds, how to select lean base images, and how to optimize our layers using Dive. As usual, if you enjoy this content, I ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also share the video with your colleagues or friends. Also, if you have any idea for next video, give it to me in the comment section. Till then, thank you and see you next time.